Hello, this is Jenny Walker, and welcome to Jenny Girl's Closet. This is my channel on YouTube where I talk about all things reselling and consignment. Today I have a haul video, and I had to go ahead and do it because things are piling up. And I had promised myself I wasn't going to list anything I didn't show on the video. However, that is proving a little challenging because I have been so busy and uh, behind the scenes. And so I thought I better, I mean, look at all that. You see all that on that rack? All that has to be listed. Whole other pile, another pile next to me. So I just thought I'd quickly get on here and just start showing you some of the things so I can get those listed uh, in time for holiday buying. So it's a very much a mess behind me. <laughs> Welcome to my real world. Um, so this is a combination of things from the bins in, um, in LA, regular Goodwill stores in LA. I may or may not get a chance to go into what I bought at the bins in Phoenix, Arizona when I was there for Posh Fest. So we'll see. We'll just see how it goes. So let me just get started um, with um, one of the coolest pieces. Actually, I had one of those days at the Goodwill stores where like everything I looked at was perfect for me. And that is not always the case. And I had a big old pile. But um, this is a beautiful BCBG dress. Um, just beautiful with the lace and structured and I don't love BCBG, but I'm I'm okay with it when the when the styles are really special like this. They were asking $14.99, and I was happy to pay that because um, this will sell for over hundred. I mean, it's just super super cute. Um, I love this. I would wear this myself, and I do buy things that I like. Um, I do buy things for one particular girl in mind, so that everything in my closet would appeal to that person. So yeah, so this is a really exciting find and I cannot wait to get that listed on um, Poshmark and eBay. This, uh, Zara does really well, but not all per pieces are created equal. Um, this is a really, really super cute double-breasted black coat with gold buttons, like a military style. It's in really great shape. Um, has all the detail on the sleeves. And this was... Um, $19.99. They, um, you know, this was priced at a premium, which I have no problem paying $19.99 for this because I'm going to sell this for over a hundred. And I like having it in my store. That is super smart um, piece. Glad to have it. Um, this one was a really cool find by um, Throb Throb Immobile. <laughs> never heard of this brand. Anyway, it's super cute leather uh, jacket, uh, really like cropped in the back. Uh, what these are like inserts, uh, some sort of knit panels. And this is super cute for fall. Um, I don't see the tag on it. I think it was $9.99. Because um, I remember finding a lot of $9.99 jackets that I thought were really, um, really awesome finds. Yeah, Throb. Um, you know, this I picked up. Yeah, nobody's looking for Throb Immobile, <laughs> but they are looking for black leather jackets. And so this one is super cute. And so I feel like that was a really good um, find. This one is Eileen Fisher, you know, love to hate Eileen Fisher right up there with Banana Republic. But people like this brand. And I kind of liked this gray wool um, jacket. It's got pockets. It's got covered buttons down the front. Um, you know, their sizing, you know, the way it's cut kind of box is going to fit a lot of people. 100% wool. So I got that and picked that up, which is perfect for this time of year where we're transitioning with the weather. Um, this is by ASOS, new with tags. Um, ASOS, really cool um, black cotton asymmetric. It almost looks like a chef's shirt uh, but being black you know it's, it's not exactly chef shirt the super cool new tags it's got buttons cool buttons all over it $6.99 um, really happy to get that that fits within the aesthetic of my closet um, this Sarah blouse needs steaming it's a mess but um <laughs> you get the picture it's a wrap but it has this really cute black ribbon at the waist. So it gives it some detail and a little bit of a cold shoulder. 
So I was really happy to get that. That's totally my girl goes in my closet and I look forward to getting that, um, steamed and, uh, steamed and photographed. <laughs> So this is another brand I love to hate. I gotta quit buying this brand. Made well. You know, I guess it's because I don't wear it myself, but I just couldn't resist this because it was black and white and was totally, you know, looks like what my girl would wear. Uh, really cute short sleeves, buttons down the back right there. So yeah, I got that. It was it's made well. I guess y'all like to see the tags. Made well, right there. Um, but yeah, it's all right. So love it, but I didn't hate it and I liked it enough to buy it. So when I, um, get to the checkout, right when I'm about to leave, like the Goodwill, it's like the most torturous moment of all, because then I have to decide. So I hate taking things back and you know, you know how it is. So this I got because it looks like Burberry, but it is not. I thought this was so cute. This knit dress. Is totally a Burberry plaid uh, knockoff, um, but I thought it was super cute. So people will buy that because it's like adorable, and uh, it was eight ninety nine um, in the store. Um, yeah, I'll be able to sell it for more than that, and it's really really cute. And no one in the world is going to know that it's not real Burberry. It's just um, a Burberry style plaid. Faux leather does really well for me, um, especially when it's like shiny or patent. This is a faux leather, uh, uh, larger size knife pleat, pleat skirt, perfect for fall with like some uh, $5.99. It's by Calvin Klein. Love to hate Calvin Klein. <laughs> some of these brands just do not, um, they don't have any secondary market value, but so, so then you end up having to sell it based on style. And this is super cute. It's a nice classic midi link um, accordion pleat skirt in faux leather. So that's going to sell all the time. Um, here are some boots. My girl loves <laughs> combat boots and lace up boots. Um, these are a Ben's find. Um, you can tell because they're all scuffed up. And um, I got them anyway because, you know, they were super cheap. Uh, that's totally my girl. So these have to be um, dealt with. <laughs> I have a pile of things that, you know, need love and attention before I can list them. And that's that's one of them. Um, this pair I got at um, actually out of the closet in uh, Pasadena. This is totally my girl lace up boots. Now they write the prices on the bottom. See, it says seven dollars or is that four? No, it's Four or seven, depending on which. It's like an ink blot. Is it a four or is it a seven? I think it was seven, actually, not four, but I'm not sure. Uh, I can't remember. But these are absolutely adorable black lace up boots, perfect for fall, um, super cute, super sporty, perfect with that Burberry style dress I just showed. These are some leather pieces I got at the bins, which is pieces of leather. Just pieces of leather. You can have a lot of fun with that. Not sure what you can do with it, but it's hard to walk by. Cool pieces of leather at the bin. So I have a green one too. Um, really, really cool. This is an olive green. It's showing more like brown in the um, camera. I don't know why, because this is olive green and I'm staring at the brown back. Of me. Okay. Um, so hold on. I'm going to get the next pile. I'm going to show you my steaming section as I do that. Because I think that's a little more glamorous than watching me pull it off the rack. Okay. This is from my day at the bins, um, $9.99 for a leather jacket, which is extraordinary, uh, by Sebi collection. I have no idea what this is. This is going to sell based on style. 100% leather bomber style jacket. Perfect for fall with the silver hardware. And this was $9.99. So, Goodwill, thank you for pricing your leather <laughs> so low for me. Um, I don't know what they were thinking. I'd have paid more for that, but I'm glad I didn't have to. Um, this is another leather jacket. This one, These are pretty expensive. Um, Bagatelli, 
Um, these are hundreds of dollars online, and they were selling it for $24.99. So I did pay a premium for this one, which I was happy to do um, because they, they sell really well. And for a lot, it's got cool little moto detail on this. Um, you can, this is the worst video ever. <laughs> I have to laugh. Anyway, it's got that, that moto stuff, right? Where they, it's kind of like quilted leather. So I got that one. This I am in love with. Oh my gosh. When I saw this, I about passed out just cause I love style and clothes, but this is a Zara, uh, cape. So it's black wool with, um, what I can only assume is faux leather, but I haven't really read, but I'll assume it's faux leather down the front. This is adorable. It is a shame I did not list this in time for Halloween. <laughs> Just too busy. I've been so busy. That's another video, Zara. This is so adorable. This was $9.99. I was like, what is wrong with these people? $9.99. But when you have one price for everything, you know, that's the treasure hunt. That's when you want to see if you're going to get lucky or not. But yeah, $9.99 for this. This is so cute. I just, I don't know what to say. It is adorable. Oh, wait, I see the price. Did I see the price on there? Hold on. I saw a tag. What did I pay? $9.99. There you go. Isn't that exciting? It is for me. So this jacket, this was this day when I just found all this stuff I liked. I couldn't believe it. This is super cool. Never heard of it. Yezzy Bounty, right? This is crazy with all this awesomeness all over this thing. Big puffer jacket. It's probably a man's. New with tags. There's the tags. New with tags. And um, they were asking $9.99. So, yeah, this was this day where I felt like for the money I got such better things than I normally would find, like so much at once, and I just hit it really well. I think it was a Friday night and I find that Friday night because Friday night is kind of date night. And I think a lot of people are not <laughs> spending their Friday night in the Goodwill store. <laughs> I don't blame them. I shouldn't be there either, but I was. And like, this is just awesomeness. Like it's just, I'll take that for nine 99. Um, Hold on, I, I have a little mess on the floor, so I'm going to let you look at my steaming section while I pick it up. I don't even know what happened. This is not, not a good look for me. <laughs> Keep pulling things off the floor. Oh, boy. Okay. So, that. so um, this is the same day. I It was like jackpot. This is Badgley Mishka, which is a designer brand. It's on these black little evening dresses. Super cute. And I love finding a designer dress for $8.99 because, again, they're pricing them all the same. But then you have Badgley Mishka for $8.99. But then they'll put Zara, new with tags, $19.99. Go figure. It's because they don't know their stuff. Um, this is so cute. I don't even know what to say. That was one. This was a, it was such a wonderful experience. Couldn't believe all this stuff. BCBG, um, again, love to hate BCBG. Um, nothing wrong with this. It's got the cute kind of, you know, any of these boxy jackets do really well. You know, it's like the Chanel inspired style. This was $9.99. Um, this would be so cute dressed up uh, with like a pencil skirt or some dressy pants or dressed down with just some little skinny jeans. I just think that is so cute. Perfect for fall. Now, I love moto jackets, and this one, um, super cute by Zara in a nice pink. Zippers everywhere. Look at this thing. Again, all of this I found at once. Like, I, I couldn't even believe it. This one's $9.99. Um, super cute, super relevant. It's like a cotton material. Um, so cute for fall with some little boots. And um, I really look forward to uh, getting that. Up and for sale. So this one I bought. I'm going to be doing a dry cleaning video. Um, uh, the local dry cleaner here in Pasadena, one of them I know really well. Um, we're going to do some videos about which things are like an experiment, bringing real things that I've bought that I bought with the intention of cleaning to see if it's worth it. 
sometimes they talk me down. <laughs> they say, don't bother. Other times, um, they, they just do such a great job and are able to get it clean. So this is a great example. This is Aerodine. So this is a super, super expensive brand, Aerodine. It's from, I think, England. Um, if you don't know the brand, you should memorize it. I looked up this dress. This is like three or four years old. Some celebrity was seen in it. Um, and I bought it knowing that it needed to be cleaned. And this, um, this particular video I'm showing you here, I think it's got a little bit of yellowing on it, but nothing so severe, but there were a couple of spots in the, in the white part. And this is, um, you know, this dress was like, like $1,500 or something like that. It's really, really expensive. So this is one of the ones that we will do as a sample, take to the dry cleaners, do like before and after pictures so we can see how investing, you know, $10, $12 in cleaning a dress is worth it for something you're going to sell for hundreds of dollars. So this is one of those, but Aerodim is one of those super expensive brands um, to be on the lookout for. And it's not one I was really familiar with until they did the collaboration with H&M. And then I'm like, okay, then you look into the brand and then you realize they're known for their florals and they've been around a long time and they're super expensive. So I'm going to let you stare at my <laughs> steaming section as I get the next group of clothes. You can hear me grabbing my clothes. It's very exciting. I know. There we go. All right. So, I'm back. Um, this is super cute. I do not pick up this brand often at all, BB, but sometimes it's just so cute I can't stand it. So, this black cotton shirt with these huge puffy sleeves. Like, what is not to love about that? $6.99. I mean, that is... People who like this brand, because they're, um, I think their stores went out of business. And so a lot of times when that happens, um, people keep looking for the brands. And um, where are they going to get them? Secondary market. This one I got for myself. And um, it's also one I could sell if I wanted. But this, I just bought it for myself to wear. But I'm going to show it to you. It's Lauren, Ralph Lauren. But it's just a white um, little ruffle front shirt because I like to wear um, a fitted vest and then like black pants or leggings. So that was really for me. If for any reason it doesn't fit, I will sell it. Um, I don't know this brand fever, but I just thought it was super cute with the little, um, you know, sleeves going on here and stripes and uh, the size is the way it's cut. It's going to fit a lot of people. This is, you know, fits in the aesthetic of my closet. This is looks like something my girl would wear. And for $6.99, you know, I felt like that was super cute to get. Um, this brand, I had to look it up. I thought this was a skirt. It turns out it is a one-sleeve blouse um, by Jeffrey God J. Godfrey. I mean, this is one of these brands they like sell at Neiman's or something like that. So it's, I thought it was a skirt. It is not, it is like a one-armed, you can't tell. It's like a one-armed drapey poncho thing. <laughs> poncho thing. 100% um, silk. They sell this at like Neiman Marcus, Bergdorf Goodman, places like that. Um, I picked it up for $5.99 because they thought it was a skirt, as did I. But it's really like, it kind of goes across the front and then, and the reason you know this is the um, what's going on underneath. And underneath, you will find um, an armhole and um, stuff like that. Uh, but anyway, this is, you know, hundreds and hundreds of dollars new. 100% silk is in excellent condition. This would be great for um, the holidays. So I picked that up. So excited to find that. Um, it's just amazing. It's just amazing what you find the goodwill. And just when you think that people are consigning every good piece, they're just not. And the reason you know that is because you just bought it at the goodwill. Um, so, yeah. So, this is a brand new with tags. Black beaded shirt. Perfect for the holidays. This is, um, it says $140 from Nordstrom, marked down to $59. Um, I bought it for $7.99. So, I will take off. 
that price tag that says 140 and 59 and just come up with a price just based on awesomeness. This is uh caseline. But yeah, it's perfect for the holidays. So yeah. I'll take that for $7.99. They ra they raised it a dollar because it was new. Interesting. This is um designer ports international, hundred percent wool. Um Jersey. I don't know. Is, is it wool jersey? I think it's called wool jersey. This midi length full skirt with pockets. Super cute. Um, $5.99. They did not know what ports was, but I sure did. And um, this is just perfect for fall with some ankle boots, like a little turtleneck sweater. And this brand is one of on the Lux brand list for thread up, and they sell it on Real Real and all those places. So $5.99. I'm very happy about that. <laughs> This, um, I was on the fence about, but everything in my closet can't be black. This is by what's called Moon, which is a British um, brand, 100% uh, wool pencil skirt in this really cool pink. So it's very Chanel looking and very tweed, and so I bought it. It was $5.99, so how do you pass that up? Yeah, super cute. Look at that. Little turtleneck, little twin set, some heels, be dressy. Perfect. Again, this was all the same uh, group of stuff, except the stuff I told you was from the bins from one stop at the Goodwill. I mean, that many good things at once. Sweet. This is called Cuddle Duds. I bought this for myself in case nobody wanted it. This thing is the softest thing I've ever felt. It's like um, some sort of velour. But it's nice black, oversized, with big, you know, fluffy, fluffiness everywhere. You know, this is just awesome. $6.99. It's nice and long. Perfect with leggings when it gets cold. Now, I have been doing more vintage. And um, I bought this specifically because I now do vintage. Specifically, what I mean is, let me start again. I'm doing vintage. There's the vintage that goes to um, the flea market and the vintage that's too nice to go to the flea market, right? So my new flea market vintage at PCC flea, PCC flea market in Pasadena, it's PCC college, um, stands for Pacific something, something. Um, so I bought this coat. It's your classic leopard coat, right? It's your classic leopard vintage coat made out of faux fur, right? These sell over and over again because people love leopard print. Um, appears to be in a pretty good shape, not great shape by Strauss. Um, but yeah, so this was $9.99. Hmm, amazing. And so when I grabbed this, everybody kept trying to buy it from me because <laughs> I'm always sorting my things at, um, at near the register. They put a little rolling rack um, at the Goodwill that I go to most. And so I'll put everything up there and just sort one at a time. And people notoriously are trying to pull off of things that I have um, decided to keep or reject. Happens every time. This I just thought was awesome. Like this is super cool. Again, it's the aesthetic. It's my girl. This black velvet vest. It's Well, it's cotton velvet, like with some ribbon. It's... It's vintage -y. It's called Mountain Patchworks. Like, but, like, this is not your typical kind of country thing because of the colors, right? Because it's all black. If it were, like, patchwork, then I would have passed it up. But because it's all black and fits in with my aesthetic, that's going straight to the flea market. Paid $4.99. Again, this is all the same haul. I mean, it was crazy that day. I've never had a haul like this at the Goodwill before, so I'm happy to have experienced it. This is a, an evening gown by David Meitzer. He is sold in places like Bloomingdale's. His dresses are in the hundreds, the low hundreds, nothing. But this is absolutely gorgeous. Perfect long jersey dress. And jersey is key because it helps fit a lot of body styles and shapes. It was $8.99. And I love finding... $8.99 designer dresses because they'll put $8.99 on just things that aren't worth anything. And then you get $8.99 on a David Meister and it's just totally makes your day. Um, 
This is uh, a vintage piece. This is going straight to the uh, Rose, not Rose Bowl. I've only done Rose Bowl flea market once. I would do it again, but not right now because I'm too busy with other things and it takes a lot. But um, PCC is literally around the corner from me and that's easy to do. This is vintage Esprit with this super, super cute maxi dress with just a little tie in the back, three buttons. Just, just this like viscose crepey material with a side zipper. And um, it is also large. It's 100% polyester crepe. I thought this was super cute. This is totally my girl would wear this and it's within keeping of my closet. And that was um, $8.99. So I'm going to once again let you stare at my steaming section <laughs> as I pick more clothes. Hold on. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Whew, it's a lot of stuff. I gotta get through because I gotta get listed. This is um, nobody special. <laughs> Don't tell Linda Bikini that. Um, Linda, somebody. Anyway, this stuff with this beaded. I usually find them without a dress underneath. They always sell, no matter what. Uh, this one had a really cool, like paisley beaded dress underneath, and I got this at the bins. And so um, that's why I picked it up. Super cool, super cute. And um, so that's going to be fun selling that. This is um, Calvin Klein leather jacket that someone has um, DIY'd. So look at the back of this thing. So they put this, is all clearly not original. They put this on, they've painted it, they've put this graphic, they've put 777 down the sleeve. Um, I don't see the price there, but I think this was $9.99 at the Goodwill for 100% less. Guarantee it's going to sell. Um, this one is from the bins. Rowan D. The black satiny bomber jacket with silver um, detail. Again, this is my girl. This is my aesthetic. was happy to get it. Um, within keeping with uh, what's going on in my closet. And in uh, previous videos, I've talked about that. I'm buying for one girl at every price point, at every phase in her life, you know, high school, college, young adult, workplace, out at night. Uh, I notice with my own style hasn't really changed much. Um, what changes is I'll keep, I keep buying the same outfit <laughs> over and over again. But as I've gotten older and I have the ability to pay more for things than when I was younger, I, it's basically the designer version of the thing I used to buy in the non-designer version when I was younger. Um, James purse exclusive for, um, Barney's. It's a, uh, what's this made of? It feels like cashmere. Um, it's a long, uh, tunic sweater in black with some pockets on it. Um, two good brands, Barney's and James Purse, all together in one. This is from the bins. Couldn't pass that up. This is a bins find forever 21 camo. It's just like a windbreaker. And, uh, this is, I think men's wear. I do very little men's, but I won't pass it up if it's kind of cool. So camo stuff just sells. It's got a big following. And so why not? Um, Dissipate. This is a nice classic Zara jacket that I got. I think this this one actually did come from the bins, which really is surprising when I get Zara at the bins. Um, it's a nice basic kind of like boat neck jacket, perfect for dressing up or dressing down. Uh, bins find again. That's my girl a thousand times over. Um, this one, yeah, Nine West. This was a bins find. Super cute black and white um, with, uh, it's like a halter. It's cotton. It has like cat texture to it. Um, Nine West. Again, I didn't buy this for the brand. I bought it for the style. This is totally my girl. So if you'll see a theme here, because everything looks like it's in the same catalog, it's in the same closet, it's the same girl. So I'm working really hard to in terms of colors, shapes, styles to maintain that throughout the closet. And it is, it's kind of fun to do. So this is a loft, another brand I love to hate. 
like a seersucker kind of open weave um, with like a lining. It's just a cute little cotton jacket and it's got, it's gathered in the very back, but it has a tie um, that goes through where you tie in the front and cinch it with some buttons. And that's perfect little summer jacket. And that was, I believe, from the bins also. This is a bins find, and I got it um, basically for me to wear. And if I don't wear it, I can sell it. This is just an H&M black uh, maxi dress. You know, like a jersey. That's all that is. Nothing exciting, uh, but nice basic. This is from the bins. It's a Wilson's men's um, leather jacket. It's actually a lot brighter than it's showing in this video. 100% leather. This is going to go to um, the flea market uh, because that's probably where it'll sell because Wilson's, Wilson's is out of business. This is um, a nice, uh, by Hugh, you know, they do all the leggings. This is faux leather leggings by Hugh. This came from the bins. Um, nice stretch leggings. I've not tried to see if these will fit me, but I might. Hold on. Now this, this I just thought was great. Um, this is clearly somebody who didn't know what it was. This was so exciting. This was back in this stuff I bought from the Goodwill store. Carmen Mark Volvo. Um, you can see 100% silk bolero jacket for evening. Like that is just amazing. They had it $9.99. They did not know what this was. That's okay. I know what it is. Um, in my consignment shop, I hear the words constantly, I want to cover my arms. And as women get older, they get very conscious of their arms. I mean, unless you're Michelle Obama, in which case you can show off your arms all day long. But a lot of women are self-conscious. They want things to cover their arms or at least um, cover the top part of their arms. So this kind of thing is perfect for going over uh, strapless dresses. So that's really cool. Hold on. While I get more, I'm going to show you my steaming section as I grab more clothes. Yep, this is live. This is live. Okay. All right, let me come back. Okay. Come back. So this is vintage. This is going to the flea market. This is Evan Pacone. I lived through the Evan Pacone generation. My mom used to wear this brand. But it's super cute 80s with the embellished sleeve and the, the dolman sleeve on this um, like wool and mohair sweater. Super, super cute. Um, so that's going straight to the flea market. Hopefully I can find a home for it there. This is a Ben's find. It's the classic bomber jacket with black and gold chain detail. Perfect for fall. Um, this was, I wasn't going to get it, but it's a free people maxi dress and, um, super, super full. It's kind of the wrong season for this, but that's okay. It'll be warm soon enough. Free people. Um, really, really cute. Really interesting and perfect for summer where you're looking for a very substantial maxi dress. This is uh, an H&M classic. This was from the bins. It's a very full, um, just classic, simple dress. So if you have to wear black like as a uniform or Classic dress for work. That was a nice Ben's find, so I picked that up. This was, um, um, this is interesting. This was a, this is a very substantial canvas um, hang-up bag that says Cotton Citizen on it. You can see I have it pulled up on the other side. I use hang-up bags all the time. Janelli. I was very, very excited to get this. This is a war horse thing. So I will probably be wrapping up my clothes for the flea market in that. These I got at, um, what did I, get? I forgot where I got these. This is Uniglow or Uniqlo. And um, just black cotton moto jeans. Again, because it's Uniqlo, I have a chance to sell it because a lot of times people who follow that brand, um, they know exactly what that style is, and they look for it. 
This is a Ben's find. I don't actually like this kind of fabric. Um, I have, have a hard time selling things out of made out of this weird structured. Y'all have seen this stuff. It's not an expensive fabric, but this looked like a very expensive dress, which is why I got it. This is black and white. Um, this is an okay brand. There's nothing super expensive about this brand, but people do know it. A-N-G-L, Angel. But this little strap was with the roses. I thought, yeah, I'm going to give that a shot. My girl would totally wear that. This is um, Mac Studio. I don't really, there's really nobody looking for Mac Studio, but um, this was from the bins, and so I thought, well, I'll just give it a shot anyway, since it doesn't really cost much. Super cute for summer with um, this little detail in the fabric, this open design. I've, I'm having a brain freeze. I don't know what this is called. <laughs> I don't know why I'm not remembering. It's like a, not seersucker. Um, Y'all know what it is. And wait, we're we're almost, gosh, it's already 1030. I better hurry up. Hold on. I'm going to turn over here as I get some more for you. All right, I'm back. So um, I've never found rails before. But look, red, white, and blue rail shirt. These are super expensive. And I was glad to find it. It was um, $6.99. These are like hundreds of dollars new. I was very excited to find it. If you know that brand, you know all exactly about rails, why it's so expensive. These are both um, American Apparel. Every American Apparel skater skirt I find sells. The ones that sell the best are the ones that are not black. So... Um, I got the same person must have donated because we've got it in pink. We've got it in blue, a little skater skirt by American Apparel. And um, these sell, these are a quick flip. I mean, these were six, five ninety nine. These usually sell like $35 um, around that if you hold out for that much, which I will, especially in that color scheme. This was a clearance, like clearance item. It was half price. Um, I got it because it was super cool with the leather on the back and it's by uh, American Vintage. So I think that they have um, created this short by adding this piece on the back. I'm not sure. So tiny, wouldn't even fit on my mannequin. So I'm going to have to do a flat lay on that. Super cute for summer. I don't buy much, many shorts anymore. Um, and if I do, I try to give it the bend. So that was half price. So that was my justification. This piece just snuck in. This is an Escada blazer. Um, this one was from Out of the Closet, 100% wool, and it is fantastic. There's no holes or anything in it. It does have some stains. So this is one that's going to be on my dry cleaning project. Can you see that little brown right there? But trust me when there's um, some stains on this. So this is going to be part of what I showcase at um, the dry cleaning video to show how it's worth um, spending money. I think that one was like $7.99 or $9.99 from out of the closet. It's got to, people love that brand. The old stuff that's made in West Germany is far superior to the things that are made in Slovakia where they make it now. And, um, you can tell the difference. These are some recent Goodwill store finds. This is a Zara, uh, sparkly evening camisole. Uh, I think that was $3.99. This, um, these, that one already have, these already have listed on Poshmark. This is a Karen Millen dress. Um, perfect for your going to a wedding. So I had the chance to buy this dress or a different dress for the same price. And I thought, you know, always go with the brand. Um, these sell really well. This one is just super cute. I looked it up online. It says, uh, gratitude is attitude. Um, I found out later, you see it's got spots on it underneath, um, so I've got to try to get that out. That'll be part of my dry cleaning and cleaning video. But I just thought it was super cute by Isu. Isu. Nice, young, fun. You can wear it as a tunic or a dress. These are um, some classic black pants. You can see I do very little pants because they don't, they don't move very well. And this one is by... Who is this by? Oh, yeah, Emporio Armani. 
So that's why I got these. I couldn't resist. And they're a bigger size. They're like a 14. So that's um, going to be easy to, to sell because if they don't sell on Poshmark, this kind of thing goes straight to thread up or real real to sell. And I always go to thread up and real real after I've tried to sell it myself because there's no reason to leave money on the table. Um, this is from the Goodwill store in Phoenix, Arizona when I went there for Posh Fest. I got this because of the color. Super, super bright color. Um, it was um, $5.99. I don't know if it was on sale or not, but uh, I just wanted to buy something from that Goodwill. I could have totally left this behind, but um, again, this is an older Forever 21 tag, but the color is really you know, this neon is back. And so that's why I got it. So that will be um, a nice to get that sold. This is also from the same Goodwill store in Phoenix. This is a vintage, um, like 80s style dress, black velvet with some ribbon detail. All 80s does not look good. I mean, you know, you're looking with these eyes. I lived through the 80s and, uh, <laughs> But I thought this one was pretty good. And the velvet dresses, um, velvet always seems to stand the test of time. I've never seen rotted velvet. I have seen rotted uh, silk or cotton that was attached to the velvet, but the velvet really seems to stand up well. This is um, also, this is by Wilt. These are super, super expensive. I looked them up while I was in the store, um, this brand. I don't know if you can see, it's sort of like um, like this textured cotton. It's almost like a burnout without being burnout. Um, I was on the fence about it, and then I finally found it online. I'm like, oh, these things are hundreds of dollars, so I got that. We're almost done. Hold on. Let's see how fast I can go. Uh-oh, I'm not going to be able to do all this. It's from the bins, just a cute little black and white capelet. No brand, so that has to sell on style. This is a Zara jacket that someone did a DIY project to. All of this on the back is just pinned. I have no idea. And they did, like, this color in the front. So hopefully someone wants to finish the project. Um. Again, hot colors are back. So this is Intimately Free People, hot pink. Just a little cami thing. These are um, by Olympia. These are silk, animal print, little pants. They are the droopy, the droopy pants. <laughs> you know, the MC Hammer pants. 100% um, silk, that's from the bins also. This is from the bins, and that's the only reason I got it. This is... Uh, Marciano, the guest Marciano guy, uh, very much, you know, in keeping with what my girl would wear, but I would not have picked that up in a regular store for sure. For Joseph, this little, um, I think it's a faux suede uh, jacket with a Sherpa. It's super, super cute. Like this one is, that was from the bins. So I'll just have to get that. Now this um, is a ruined designer shirt by protagonist. Um, this was actually from uh, Wasteland. Wasteland had priced $108, but it's ripped in the back. It's completely ripped. So someone might want this for the leather. So just for fun, I picked that up because it probably cost me a dime. This is um, Publish. These are more droopy drawers, denim. This um, came from Out of the Closet. And um, I think I paid like $7 for these. I think these are men's. This came from the bins in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, a vintage red and uh, black lumberjack shirt. This is by, this is how you know it's old. It's by the brand Tom Sawyer. <laughs> and this is for a kid. So um, super, super vintage on that one. This is uh, a costume by Malefic Ma Maleficent. <laughs> Angelina Jolie is out promoting the latest movie. You can see from the detail in the back. 
is one of the costumes and it's a Disney. That's the only reason I picked it up. That was from the bins in Arizona. Um, this is Arizona bins. This is Isaac Mizrahi for target, hundred percent leather pencil skirt, um, <clears throat> new with tags. So why not? Even though it's the, the target line, they just relaunched all of those things anyway. So maybe somebody wants it. Forever 21, super cute uh, crochet skirt. It is coming undone on one side, which I found out when I got home. But it's if somebody knows how to fix it, you can easily fix that. This is uh, Aqua, new with tags. This came from the Arizona Bins. Nice little cute little black um, racerback style dress for party dress. This is um, Free People shift dress, nice little party dress. This is Arizona Bins, super super cool. Pick that up. Um, these, okay. If you see these anywhere, you need to get them, and do not be afraid to price them high. These uh, vintage um, kimonos, the real ones, not the ones that are made to look old, but the real ones. They really, I've gotten so much money for these at the flea market. So this was really cool black and red one. Um, definitely be on the lookout for those. These are some classic blue shorts, new with tags um, from H&M. Pick those up at the bins in Arizona. So why not? Okay, I'm almost done. Hold on. This is like the fastest video ever, but, but why drag it on? White House Black Market has certainly has a following. This cute little sweater I got because of the red, one of my favorite colors, and the nice detail on that. Uh, that was from the Arizona Bins. This is so amazing. It's a 40s vintage dress. I could not get this listed in time for Halloween. That's my fault, but this will go to um, the flea market. This is incredible work. This is a great example of velvet that has survived, you know, because it's from the forties is super, super cool. They had it as, um, Halloween merch, which is interesting. This I love. It is missing the belt, but who cares? This is nice vintage Leslie Faye dress. Look at the pattern on this and these ginormous gold buttons down the front. I mean, this is vintage at its best and all these really big dresses are back. And this is 80s. It might even fit me. I don't know. I wish I had the belt, but, you know, what are you going to do? It's the bins. You're lucky to get the dress, much less the belt. <clears throat> this is part of the dry cleaning project. This vintage 80s stretch velvet dress, evening dress, has stains here. I wasn't worried about that because I'm taking that to the dry cleaners, and I didn't pay anything for it because it came from the bins. This is... Um, I wasn't going to buy this because this brand doesn't really have any resale finity. Fin but the I just thought the sweater was super cute. And it goes within the context of my closet. <clears throat> this is a vintage Halloween costume by Charades. It's supposed to be like a disco party girl. Um, even has the belt to it. So I remember Charades from back in the day. Vintage Michael Jackson t-shirt. I don't do much with t-shirts, but um, if it's sitting there, why not give it a try? Guns and Roses vintage t-shirt. People love those. I don't buy them for myself, but um, 80s um, Forenza denim shirt with the faux pearl collar. So it's super, super different, which is why I picked it up. That's going straight to the flea market. This I absolutely love. I'm so sad Virgin got bought out by um, Alaska Air, but the Virgin Phoenix sweatshirt, people love, um, you know, they love this airplane collectible stuff. And this um, will become more valuable over time. This I was hoping to sell for Halloween. I just didn't get listed very much in time. This is a nice classic handmade poodle skirt, you know. Hold on, where's the poodle? You know, perfect for Halloween, little 50s style. Pick that up at the bins. <clears throat> and then this um, little racer cropped um, 
Chevrolet. I'm not buying much of this stuff anymore. This um, like cotton, the sweatshirt stuff, unless it's designer like the Great China Wall, Chrome Hearts. Um, it's got to be designer now. But this I couldn't resist because you know what? It's super cute. Look at that. And that's all I'm going to show you. <laughs> Can you believe all that? Um, because I got to get to my consignment shop and I got to be there in 10 minutes. So I'm glad I was able to show you as much as I did. There's so much more. And I look forward to showing that at you, showing that to you on another video. Um, in the meantime, if you like what you heard, please give it a thumbs up. I'd love for you to comment and, of course, subscribe. If you haven't, hit the bell icon to know when I go live, which are very random times. Um, but below this video will also be a link to my iTunes podcast called Closet Conversations, where I'm talking about all things reselling and consignment. And I just did a video. I mean, I just, this is the video. I just did a podcast last night about sourcing at the Savers in Phoenix, Arizona, and how I felt about that. So check it out. Thank you for tuning in. I look forward to being with you on a future video. Bye-bye. <clears throat>